Hi everyone, I'm continuing my JavaScript tutorial. In my previous tutorial, I have shown you how you can declare functions. And um, sorry, there is a mistake. Um, how you can declare functions and um, how you can use it with events. So now, what we now, if we take a look at the functions, and there we will see uh, these messages these are this piece of a code seems to be very static means uh, the message variable get initialized at the right at the compile time you can't change it uh, within the runtime so uh, what we want to do to do some dynamic effects is that to parameterize the function means if we can pass some information to the function at the runtime so to do so we can add variables or um, parameters to the function. Now to do so, we simply type the parameter name, say message. So what I'm telling um, the JavaScript interpreter is that I'm having a function and you pass the information, uh, some information and I'm containing that information within the message and I will do some work on the message then so what happens in this time if I uh, define the function like this the value of the message gets determined at the runtime so similar thing we can do for the input function too say we want to customize this confirm message so here we say like this so now to call the functions we we have to call it by its name and also match uh, the match is parameter to do so we go into the event handlers on load in funks now it te it is telling me to provide or to provide some value for the message so i say the message is within the single quotes remember say welcome and we type in welcome so by doing so we are calling the function with the parameter welcome and that welcome information is passed in the message uh, variable and then we work with the message variable uh, say we are giving alert similar to input we say is this page good we want to ask is this page is this page good so we type in like this so as you can see the value of this variable got initialized at the runtime so let's save the file uh, load in the web browser what happens so we go in the web browser and there we load and on load it is giving the welcome message uh, as you can see and if I click on it it is giving the message is this page good I say uh, okay and the content has been written on the page uh, let's take a look at this thing again uh, so what you have learned in this tutorial is that how you can pass uh, arguments and remember that you have to match uh, the argument list uh, so if you don't say if you don't pass anything uh, say function this like this thing so so this would have been uh, lead us to an error because there is no such function with no parameters so you have to put some value okay so value and the value gets initialized at the runtime this is it for this tutorial from the next tutorial we would be concentrating on the uh, variable scopes thank you for watching